Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 600. 600 of trying a new makeup product every day. This is a crazy big accomplishment, so I can't believe it's been 600 days. Here's to 600 more. Just kidding, but I actually have no idea how many more days I plan to do this. I'm still loving it. But so the product that I'm trying out today is this LOL Lots of Love face powder. So it did fall off the packaging, but it's somewhat cheap packaging because this is only a dollar. I got it from Shop Miss A, which means it was a dollar and it's cruelty free. But I got this in the shade light. The Shop Miss A website carries this in three different shades. They have a light, they have like a medium and then a medium dark. But so I'm excited to try this out because I've been getting into pressed powders more lately. When I was getting into makeup, I was all about those loose setting powders and that's what I would use to set my makeup, to bake, to set my concealer, everything like that. But then I tried out the Imani powder foundation, which I absolutely love. And that was kind of the, one of the first times that I was like, wow, a pressed powder foundation actually can look so good on the skin. So if you want to see my review on that, I will have that linked down below. But then I also recently tried out the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana pressed powder, kind of like a, it's considered their bronzer, but it's a very light shade that I've been using to set my makeup. And that's kind of like a skin tone for me. It's similar to this shade. And I really love that for adding a little bit of extra coverage over my large pores. And so I decided to buy a few different $1 versions of the tinted pressed powders. And so this one from the brand Lots of Love, I mean, it's a big pan. So let me just start out by feeling, oh, that's a nice texture. It's a pretty creamy powdery texture. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. I mean, it looks like a pretty decent shade match for me if I'm using it as just a foundation. It's kind of hard for me to tell how much pigment it actually has, but it looks smooth from that swatch. So what I'm gonna do to start is just try applying this as a foundation. When I was reading about this product online, some people said they used it as foundation, some people said they used it to set the, their makeup. Shop Miss A's actual description said that this is supposed to give a flawless base to your makeup, which makes me think that it's supposed to be a foundation, but I'm gonna try it also as a setting powder on top of my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. But to start out on one half of my face, I'm gonna just apply this straight to my skin. So I'm just going in with my Dampened Beauty Sponge. This is what I love to use to apply my powder. I use it with all of my different powders. So let's see <laughs> if it can cancel out any of this redness on my cheeks, how it covers up my pores. I did already prime my skin. I just went in with my Tarte Base Tape Primer. That's a hydrating primer that I love and I use almost every single day. So I will also have linked down below my full review on that primer if you want to see it. But yeah, unfortunately, this is really not doing much for me. <laughs> as far as a powder foundation goes. It's kind of leaving pieces of powder on the skin, so it's not really blending out. I mean, there's a difference. So it looks a little bit more toned, like even toned, canceled out some redness. But up close, it kind of looks cakey and uneven. So I don't love this on its own as a foundation. 
It's helping to minimize the pores. It's mattifying the skin. And I'm not sure if on camera, I'm trying to get close enough so that you can see that, I mean, from a distance, it looks like it did a good job, but really it's not up to my standards of what I want a powder foundation to do or just any foundation to do. So next, I'm going to just take a bit of my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and I'm going to apply this and then I'll try setting it with this powder and how the powder looks on top of my foundation. So if you want to see my review on this foundation, I will have that video linked down below. I love this foundation. The comparison of this side of my face with this foundation versus this side. Oh, this is just looking so flawless. It's just so smooth, great coverage. Now that I can see the difference, this is also looking a bit too yellow for my skin tone. I definitely have more of those cool pink undertones to my skin. Okay, so now that I have some foundation on, the way I like to just set foundation is to take a fluffy brush and pick up the powder brush it on top of the foundation and that will help to give it more of an airbrushed effect but also help mattify once my skin tends to get greasy throughout the day oh gosh yeah this did exactly what I do not want my setting powder to do, which is create a dry, cakey texture. So the foundation on its own had been looking so smooth, but now it's looking uneven, splotchy, and it just looks so powdery and dry. I'm definitely bummed that this <laughs> looks so bad on my skin. Like it, it truly, does not look good when you get at all close. Like I'm picky about how my face makeup, my foundation looks. I don't want it to look at all cakey. I don't want it to look obvious like I'm wearing foundation. And this just totally made my foundation look obvious. So at least this was only a dollar and So I would not really recommend this to be your powder foundation or to set your makeup. I do have a few others that I picked up from Shop Miss A that I'm excited to try out and hopefully those will work out better than this one here. I mean, what I'll probably end up doing with this is maybe using it to set my eyelids before applying eyeshadow after priming my eyes something like that where it's not a full surface so if you have any other ideas of what i can do with a powder like this please let me know in the comments down below but thank you so much for watching my video today be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that i try every day and i will see you tomorrow in my next video